Hey everybody, it's Andrew Martin coming to you with another meditation. I hope that you are well wherever you are in the world. I hope you're happy and healthy. Um, and I wanted to um, share with you another meditation that I have um, been given, um, that I've uh, created. Um, and this one is um, another one that really focuses on, <clears throat> excuse me, working with our heart space, um, working with the energies of the heart, love and compassion and acceptance and understanding. Um, and this one actually works really well in conjunction with the heart space meditation that I shared with you several weeks ago. So um, if you haven't already viewed the heart space meditation that I posted several weeks ago on my YouTube um, channel, I invite you to do so. You can do that one either prior to or after this one or, you know, do that at, at the same, um, during the same day or, you know, do one in one day and one the next day. You don't have to, um, but really these work really well with one another and, and work synergistically with one another because they're really both about helping us to tune into the energies of the heart and to really become comfortable and more um, more used to and more aligned with the energies of our heart um, because you know I think that um, even though it is our nature I think inherently to come from the heart and to live from the heart um, for whatever reason we may have never gotten uh, used to doing that or we didn't know how or we're not comfortable doing so um, and so this really helps us to tune into those frequencies and just to be able to identify them in our bodies um, what it, <coughs> excuse me what it feels like to give and receive from the heart, um, you know, freely and lovingly and openly. And so these meditations work really well with one another. <clears throat> so this meditation I'm calling the, um, the love chamber meditation. And this one is really about um, giving love to ourselves and giving compassion and understanding and acceptance to ourselves. You know, I think that a lot of times we are very good at helping other people and loving other people and accepting other people and, um, you know, sending all these wonderful, <coughs> excuse me, got some throat chakra action going on today um, that, you know, we become very good at helping other people and, and um, you know, work, working with other people and healing other people and accepting other people. But a lot of times we forget to give that same energy and that same love to ourselves. And so this meditation is twofold. The intention behind this is number one, to not only give us a session where we can really infuse ourselves with those energies. Um, so it can be a healing meditation just anytime we feel Feel like we need an extra boost of that love and that acceptance and that joy for ourselves we can do this but it's also just to help us become more aware and more attuned to those energies so that when we are giving them we become more comfortable giving them freely and then also we become more comfortable receiving them freely from others because you know as we know everything is vibrational and if we aren't comfortable giving those energies that love that acceptance and that compassion to ourselves we're never going to be able to receive it from others so so there are a lot of levels to this meditation, but it's really about just helping us get used to feeling the love, feeling the compassion, feeling the joy and acceptance from ourselves, getting used to what that feels like in our body so that we can also continue to give more to other people and then receive more to other people <clears throat> from other people. So. As always, um, with my meditations, um, I just invite you to get comfortable wherever you like to meditate, um, whether you know it's on a sofa or a comfortable chair or in your bed or sitting on the floor, wherever you like to, to meditate um, is where you should go. Um, get yourself comfortable. If you have your own meditation practice where you like to ground yourself or center yourself or light candles or incense or if you use certain stones or crystals to meditate with, I invite you to add those to um, this meditation as well. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable, go ahead and do that now and get prepared. Um, if you want to use this as a guided meditation, um, that's great. You can follow along with me and meditate. Or some people like to listen to it once, make their own adjustments or modifications to it, um, and then kind of add their own spin to it. That's fine too. There is no right or wrong. I'm just merely sharing with you a meditation that I've been guided to share with you um, and do with it what you will. So we're going to go ahead um, and we're going to start by <clears throat> um, just centering ourselves as we normally do. Three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, really feeling ourselves filled with um, the breath and really exhaling as much as we can to just really get that breath flowing. Then we're going to connect with our higher selves. Then we're going to connect with Archangel Michael. And Archangel Raphael and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put ourselves in this healing um, love chamber um, and then we're going to just take the meditation and um, do it from there so <clears throat> go ahead and get comfortable 
get whatever you need to to get yourselves ready for meditation you know turn off the phone unplug the phone you know whatever you need to do right now to make sure that you're going to be un uninterrupted for you know probably the next 15 minutes go ahead and do that now um, and then whenever you're ready you can go ahead and we'll start <clears throat> so just get comfortable and sit back and relax and we're going to start with our three breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth inhaling as much as we can and then exhaling as much as we can here we go Number two. And the third one. Good. And now we're going to take a minute and we're just going to connect with that eternal, infinite space that was, uh, resides within all of us. Go ahead and just connect with that infinite, endless, timeless space where we can feel expansive and infinite. Let's go ahead and align with that. Clear your mind of any thoughts, of any worries. Let this time be just for you to meditate and to focus on yourself. You can just say to your conscious mind, for the next 15 minutes, I'm not going to worry, I'm not going to think, I'm not going to let any of those anxieties or concerns in. We can think of them as waves on the beach, and any time we have a thought, that comes in, we just let it come up onto the sand and recede back into the ocean. You can also just picture writing all of those thoughts and anxieties and worries on a blackboard in your mind's eye, and then gently and completely erasing those thoughts and those worries for this moment and for this time. <clears throat> We're going to let this time be just for us. <sighs> And then we're going to connect with our higher selves. And this is as simple as stating, I now connect with my higher self. And I ask that you please also connect with me. Don't worry if you don't feel any physical sensation. All that we need to do is ask and through our intention, connect with our higher selves and it is done. Perfect. And now we're going to ask Archangel Michael to come in for this meditation. Archangel Michael is a very powerful protector. And any time I'm doing any work with the heart, any work that requires that we open ourselves up energetically from our heart space, it helps us to feel protected and to know that Archangel Michael is with us and around us for this meditation so that we will be safe to open up our hearts, we'll be protected in opening up our hearts and we don't have to worry. <sighs> Thank you, Archangel Michael. And now we're gonna call in Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is a powerful healer. And we're going to ask Archangel Raphael to soften any resistance that we may have to giving and receiving love to help heal anything that may be within us that is preventing us from giving and receiving love, to allow us to become more comfortable with giving and receiving love, both from others and ourselves. <clears throat> Good. 
Thank you, Archangel Raphael, for coming in today. And now we're going to ask to connect with the divine source of love. And again, it is just our intention is all that is required. And we say, I now ask you to connect with the divine source of love, the infinite source of love and compassion. And I ask that you please also connect with me. And know that all that is required is our asking and it is done. Oh, wonderful. And so now in your mind's eye, I want you to picture wherever it is that you're sitting, whether it's on the floor, in a comfortable chair, in your bed, on the sofa. I want you to just picture that we are now being placed within a golden bubble. This is a light a golden light that is protective, that is healing, that is nurturing, that is going to create a safe healing space for us. So imagine now that there's a bubble of golden light descending, and it comes down and it surrounds us, and it gives us about one to two feet on all sides, above us, below us, on our left side, our right side, in front of us and behind us. We are in this perfect sphere of golden light. And within this sphere, we are comfortable, we are protected, we are cared for, we are nurtured. And this golden bubble of light is going to be our healing chamber for this meditation. It's going to be our love chamber for this meditation. <sighs> Now in your mind's eye, I want to picture that in this perfect sphere of golden light, the inside of this sphere, the inside of this bubble now becomes reflective, becomes a perfect golden mirror that is going to reflect back to us all of these loving, powerful, healing energies that we are going to bring in and give to ourselves. And we want the inside of this bubble to be reflective because what this does is reflects back all of the healing and loving energy that we're sending out right back to ourselves and allows us to receive the love, the compassion, the acceptance, and the understanding that we are going to be sending out and giving back to ourselves. So in your mind's eye, just picture that the walls of the bubble slowly change from being transparent to being perfectly smooth and reflective Within this bubble, we are safe, we are protected, and we are loved, and all is well. Everything is in alignment with our greatest and, high to, greatest and highest good. Oh, beautiful. So now in your mind's eye, I want to picture that you can see your reflection in front of you. And we can see our heart space begins to glow. It's the center of our chest where the heart chakra is. And we can slowly begin to see a light glowing in our heart space. The traditional color for the heart chakra is green, but whatever color comes to your mind's eye, let that, let that be the color. For some of you, it might be green. For some of you, it might be pink. For others of you, it might be golden. It might be a white light. Whatever the color of that light is, that's okay. That's the right color for you, the color that you need at this time. And we begin to see the glow from the heart get brighter and brighter. And we begin to see the flower, the heart center flower emerge. This is a beautiful, perfect flower with its petals gently and delicately closed around this light. And as the light gets brighter, we begin to see the petals of the flower opening up softly and gently. The flower petals open up and this light begins to emerge 
and expand into this healing bubble that we have placed ourselves in. And the light gets stronger and brighter and it fills the walls of the bubble. And as it begins to fill the bubble, it slowly begins to come into our physical bodies. We can feel the love, we can feel the joy, we can feel the compassion and the acceptance, feeling this bubble with this bright, beautiful light. And as it has filled the bubble, it slowly begins to come into our physical bodies, starting at the tips of our toes, moving up into our feet, into our ankles, into our calves, into our knees, into our thighs, into our hips and our pelvis, slowly radiating up into our torso and our chest, our shoulders, our arms, our hands, up into our neck, feeling our head. We are now filled with this beautiful, bright, healing, loving light. Feel how warm that is. Feel how safe and nurturing and healing that is. All of our worries, all of our anxieties, all of our concerns are gone for this moment. And we are just filled with love and with light. And if you would like to at this moment, you can pause the video to just soak up this energy, to just feel this energy filling every, every corner of your body, entirely filling up this golden light bubble that we have placed around ourselves. Wonderful. <sighs> and now I want you to place your right hand over your heart, over your heart space in the center of your chest. And I want you to feel the warmth that is emanating from that heart center. I want you to feel all the positive energy that is coming forth from that heart center and bouncing and reverberating off of the walls of this bubble, immersing us in this beautiful loving energy. It's reflecting off of all surfaces in this bubble and it gets stronger and more powerful and we are just filled with this beautiful love and this beautiful light. <sighs> and when you're ready, we're going to make some statements and I just want you to repeat after me. I give myself love and I receive from myself love. I give myself compassion and I receive from myself compassion. I give myself acceptance and I receive from myself acceptance. I give myself joy and I receive from myself joy. I give myself compassion and I receive from myself compassion. I give myself abundance and I receive from myself abundance. I give myself the fulfillment of my dreams and I receive from myself the fulfillment of my dreams. I give myself alignment with my highest good 
and I receive from myself alignment with my highest good. I give myself nurturing and I receive from myself nurturing. I give myself joy and I receive from myself joy. I give myself ease and I receive from myself ease. I give myself unconditional love and acceptance and I receive from myself unconditional love and acceptance. And I just want you to take a moment now and feel how that energy resonates with you. Feel it moving through any blocks, softening any resistance that we may have to receiving and to giving that love and that acceptance to ourselves. Feel that sense of compassion, that sense of joy. Feel it soaking every single molecule and every single cell within your body, raising the vibration and feeling our bodies with love and light. Oh, beautiful. And if you'd like to, you can pause the video at this time just to revel in these feelings and to really soak it up. And when you're ready, I want you to repeat after me. In the name of my greatest and highest good, I accept and integrate all of the love and high vibrational frequencies that I have sent to myself and received from myself now as I am. Oh, beautiful. And now I want you to picture the inside of this bubble still filled with all of the love and the light and the high vibrational energies that we have filled it with. Now begin to flow directly into that heart center flower that we have in, in the center of our chest. It's like watching a video or a movie in reverse. And that heart space light, that flower is now pulling in all of the love and the compassion and the joy and the understanding and the acceptance that we have sent out into this bubble. The heart is now absorbing all of those high vibrational energies, soaking them all up, taking them into our physical bodies to be integrated and accepted in alignment with our greatest and highest good. Every last drop of love and compassion and understanding and acceptance is now being absorbed by that heart center, being drawn into the center of that flower. And that light is still burning brightly. And as we accept all of those energies, we bring them all into ourselves. We can see the reflection of ourselves in the inside of that bubble and we see the heart center flower is glowing brightly, so purely, with so much love and so much light. And now we can see the petals of that flower slowly and gently begin to close, slowly begin to withdraw, sealing in all of that energy, all of that love, all of that high vibrational frequency. It is all in alignment with our greatest and highest good. We are all protected and loved by our higher selves, by the infinite source of love and by Archangel Michael. And we know that in time, we will begin to integrate all of those high vibrational frequencies. Ah, oh, perfect. 
And now we can see the walls of that bubble slowly begin to become transparent again. The mirror reflection surface gets thinner and thinner. And we can begin to see our physical surroundings again. We begin to tune into the sounds that we hear in the room. We begin to tune into the feeling of the ground beneath our feet, of the chair or the sofa or the bed at our back. We come back to the present moment. We come back to our physical selves. We come back to our bodies. And now we can say thank you to the infinite source of love and light. We can say thank you to Archangel Michael. We can say thank you to Archangel Raphael. We can say thank you to our higher selves. And whenever you're ready, just go ahead and open your eyes. And <laughs> we can come back to Earth. <laughs> <clears throat> Wow, that was great. I'm still all blissed out from that. I hope it was as uh, good for you as it was for me. <laughs> um, and again, this is a meditation that you can use anytime that you feel like you need to just give yourself a little bit more love, a little bit more joy, compassion, understanding, whatever it is that you feel you need, you can go ahead and you can activate that reflective chamber. And you can know that whatever it is that you're sending out will immediately bounce back off of those reflective walls and come right back into your heart space. Um, and don't worry about, you know, um, you know, doing anything that's wrong, doing anything that, you know, is, is the wrong way or the right way. Again, it's our intention that we set before these meditations to say that I'm really just going to immerse myself in this healing chamber to give myself the love or the joy or the compassion or the understanding, um, whatever it is that we feel like we need in that moment. Um, we can do and you can focus just on one feeling on one word whatever it is that you feel like you need go ahead and make this your own um, go ahead and just do whatever you're you are um, compelled and drawn to do um, so I appreciate you watching I hope that this helped you um, again you can always go to my website send me um, feedback on um, this or any of my videos or my meditations. You can also go to my Facebook page um, and follow all of my postings there. I post my videos, I post all my messages, and then I just post stuff daily that you know is positive or uplifting. Um, also check out my services page if you're interested in any healing work. Um, I do some pretty powerful energetic healings and they're all outlined there on my Facebook page as well, or excuse me, my um, website page as well. Um, so thank you as always again for watching. I wish you well. I hope that this meditation did some good for you and that you felt the positive healing energies that you were sending to yourself. It is my intention that this really just helps us become more attuned and aligned with the energies of our heart space and living our lives from the heart and creating from the heart. So until next time, um, take care of yourself, love yourself, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.